Hello, audiophiles of the internet, and welcome back to Audio 46, your headphone destination. I'm Franco, and today we'll be taking a look at the Ultrastone Ruby Sunrise IEM, which is a limited edition. I have been eyeing these for a little bit now, so I was stoked when they finally came across my review desk, and I cannot wait to tell you everything about them. So, without further ado, let's talk headphones. First, let's look at the box, which I personally think here is a really nice design in this sharp red and charcoal color. You can see the reflective details here on the front, including this little Made in Bavaria tag they put here on the bottom, showing off the pride they take in the quality of their German-made construction. So the design concept here, since this is the Ruby Sunrise Edition, is that they are channeling a ruby, like a literal piece of jewelry, which informs all of the design and aesthetic choices, which I happen to think is a rather nice touch. The back of the sleeve also has a pretty handy list of specs that's useful if you're trying to find all this information clear and easy to read in one spot. So thanks for that, Ultrasone. Once you open it up and pop open the layers of black foam where your paperwork is, you will see that this comes with all the goods here, including a blue drawstring bag with your cable, your IEMs, several different size ear adapters, that's three foam and three silicon, a zipper case, as well as a cleaning tool because, you know, in-ears. The braided cable is detachable and connect to the IEMs with these gold-plated two-pin connectors, and the other end is 3.5 millimeters. As I started to say before, I really like the design of the IEM, and a lot of that has to do with the red color. I love the bright deep shade, I think it looks really sharp with the shiny silver cable, and the brushed aluminum ultrasone nameplate on the top. The whole thing here is aluminum, and the inspiration behind the color and the name, according to ultrasone, is that the shine these give off is intended to evoke a sparkly sunrise over the morning sea. You can evaluate for yourself if it does all that, but for me, these absolutely hit it out of the park aesthetically. I love the color, I love the feel, I love the look, I love the material, I think they look great in the box, and I think they look great in the ear. For me, these totally work. As for the shape, it's the pretty standard ultrasone rounded rectangle shape like you'd see in their other IEMs. Um, I experimented with a couple of the in-ear tips and found that the medium were perfectly suitable and they fit very nicely in my ears, no wiggling around, no discomfort of any kind. All right, so let's talk about some tech. Inside this little guy here, there's actually quite a lot of stuff going on. Each earpiece contains two balanced armature drivers meant for producing bass frequencies and two more for producing your mids and your highs. On top of that, these employ two electrostatic drivers that work as tweeters and are specifically for delivering extremely clear high end. This is an interesting choice as usually a lot of the emphasis and the love goes toward the bass frequencies and the low end, leaving the higher frequencies to be more of an afterthought, but not the case with this IEM. This speaks to the fact that Ultrasone's focus here is to create a really specific and unique experience with these IEMs, which makes sense. It is a limited edition and there are only 100 units available worldwide after all. These IEMs also have a low impedance of 25 ohms so that they can provide quality listening from any source, any computer, any portable player. However, these do employ a very generous frequency range, so as always, if you want to get the full breadth of all that detail, then you're probably going to want to look into pairing these with a good amp. Now, let's talk about sound. In terms of power and width, the bass frequencies perform pretty well. I was rocking out to some Bad Bunny in the office with these on, and the low end and the trap beats had a nice deep resonance and packs a good punch with a decent amount of body. Harmonically, in tracks with bass guitars and low synths, those elements are legible and distinguishable, but they don't have the cleanest of edges and lack perhaps a little bit of smoothness. In line with this trend, the low mids are nice and round and provide a good amount of warmth to the signature, but certain styles and genres of music can get a little murky. Anything that's kind of hard rock with real distorted or crunchy guitars are going to experience a little bit of bloat here, and these may not exhibit the most ideal performance if you're specifically looking for that style. That said, anything a little airier that focuses on vocals, vocal harmonies, and more delicate instruments is going to take on a really pleasant quality here. Naturally, as you move higher and higher up the frequency range, these really start to come alive in terms of more detail and crisper, clearer resonance. So, onto the high frequencies here, the electrostatic drivers are really the secret sauce that give these IEMs their signature and unique quality. High frequencies take on a real sparkle and definition that makes some of your tracks feel like they've gotten a new coat of polish, especially if you've been pumping them through more low-end focus systems for a while. So, one of my favorite deep cuts that I like to bring out for listening experiments like this when testing headphones is the 1978 DECA recording of the intermezzo from an opera called Cavalieri Rusticana. I know, stay with me here. This is a gorgeous orchestral piece that is mainly a feature for the violins, which play really high register yearning melodies with some other cool harmony parts by the clarinets and the flutes. This track had an absolutely crystalline shimmer in these IEMs that gave it a slightly different character that was really outstanding when paired with this specific recording. Overall, the Ultrasone Ruby Sunrise Limited Edition is a great looking high quality IM that serves to provide a unique experience to those who are going to gobble up that limited quantity. 
The keyword here is definitely unique, as the Ruby Sunrise offers a specific driver setup and sound signature that, while it handles most things pretty well, certainly tends toward the higher end of the frequency range. So what do you guys think of these? Do you love the look as much as I do? Are you not into it? Are you on the fence? Let me know in the comments down below. And while you're down there, don't forget to hit that subscribe button so that you never miss another video from our channel. Be sure to visit our website at audio46.com so that you can check out our blogs and other reviews. And if you happen to live in New York City or are coming for a visit sometime soon, then please don't hesitate to drop into our brick and mortar store to say hello and to try out these or any other pair of headphones for yourself. That's all for today, guys. I'm Franco with Audio 46, your headphone destination, and I will see you all very soon.